What's up everyone, it's Gamer here, welcome back. So guys, I've got another video for you today, and I'm going to be showing off the new Sword and Shield. Uh, this is going to be a relatively short video, there isn't really much to talk about, but I'm just going to be showing you uh, what it's used for, which should be pretty simple to understand, and if wh whether it's worth getting or not. So, I'm using the Primitive Sword, which is made out of metal, which makes it so you need to be about level 20, I think it is, to get this. I'm not sure. I'm really, uh, I'm not really, I'm really not that sure. Unfortunately, the, there's no wooden sword. So if you're going to have a wooden shield, you have to have it with a club. You can't equip it with spears or pikes, which is unfortunate. So in order to get this, you have to be a relatively high level. Now, when equipped in the shield, uh, they've added a new bar here now. If then top right, it says offhand. You know, you have all your armor slots in an offhand. Now, it, it does weigh 45 uh, in weight, the primitive metal shield, and it goes in your offhand. You can hold right click to cover your face like this and brace the damage, and then you can attack and then hide, attack and hide. Um, I'm going to quickly spawn in some. spawn in some opponents like probably a raptor or something something easy to start off with so here you go i've summoned a raptor now it can't it can't actually damage me because i'm in god mode i just want to see how much damage i can actually do to these things like if i spawn in loads of them like this i can see they're like knocking me around everywhere and just keep swinging as you can see the sword does quite a load of damage look at this that is pretty good now, I'm going to test this against the Rex. See if it really is worth having. I keep missing. As you can see, the Rex has taken a lot of damage already from all the blood in it. Whoa. Ugh. So, a level 8 Rex taken out of that quickly. Um, I'm going to disable God Mode and go against some of these Raptors again. And see how easy I can survive. Oh, right, so, Raptors, if you'd stop it. God, right. I'm now taking damage. Oh, this isn't looking good. Right, I want to see if... This, yeah, this does deflect damage. You can see they're hitting it, and it's making, like, the bullet noise. They're tapping against the metal. And they can't actually do anything to me. So this is pretty cool. And then you can... No, oh, my, my mouse shit off for a second there. That would have been a problematic. I'm going to go back into god mode quickly because I don't want to die whilst I'm giving this. Showing off this video. Let's get some more health quickly. I'll do. Uh, so how much the damage... Oh, the shield took quite a bit of damage. So it is quite pricey. I'll go to the smithy now and show you the cost of everything. Uh, the wooden shield I'd imagine is obviously going to be... Uh, have a lot less health and cover a lot less radius. So... Weapons wise, oh, not there. Primitive. So the sword itself costs 50 metal ingots, one wood, and 15 hide. Now, that is an alright price. 50 metal really isn't that hard to get. You could probably get that in a good. Well, you could probably get that in about 5 minutes. Well, even less if you uh, live close to metal and you can smelt it up quick. But that's a pretty good price for this sword. Uh, this sword does a lot of damage. I pre I prefer it a hell of a lot more than the spear or the pike. And I'm probably going to use it as my main battle weapon all the time now. So I'm now going to say goodbye to pikes and spears. I won't be using them anymore. Uh, regarding the metal shield. Uh, it is 80 metal ingots, 20 cementing paste and 15 hide. The metal itself again is pretty easy to get then you get to the cementing paste which isn't too bad 20 cement paste isn't too bad i know some people do struggle getting cementing paste it depends really what level you are and what stage you are in the game and hide obviously that's easy to get so i definitely recommend you guys to try and get the sword and shield it really is worth getting uh the wooden shield on the tech tree tech tree uh, the engram points. I don't actually know where it... Oh, there it is. It's right next to the flare gun. So, you need to be... If I look... Uh, wooden wall... Uh, I, you need... Yeah, you need to be 10. Level 10, I think it is, to get that. 
Level, yeah, level 10, I think you get unlock this. The wooden shield. We... The only problem is... You can't really use it with a uh, spear or anything. You only get a wooden club. I'm going to quickly see what the score is of that. Okay, so I've got the wooden shield. And you can use it with the club. Which isn't too bad. But the club doesn't do any damage. It only knocks people out. And as you can see... This isn't as good as the metal shield, you don't get the gap where you can see out of. You have to kind of hide behind it and smack. Uh, you cannot hold the spear with it. Yeah, you can't hold the spear with it as it takes up both of your hands. See, then you lose the shield's ability. And does it put it on your back? No, it doesn't. I thought it would have. So, if you are planning on making the swords and shields, it's obviously going to have to be high enough level to afford the metal one. The metal sword, and you can just use a wooden shield if you need to. Otherwise, uh, oops. Uh, it would be better to get the metal shield though. So, regarding new things in the update, these are the two major new things the sword and shield and the pike, uh, sword and shield pikes, not pikes, just the sword and shield and the uh, Gig Giganotosaurus, which I showed off in my last video. They're the main two new things in the update. I know that they added a lot of other stuff. Like, they were just like little tweaks, performance, updates, bug fixes, all sorts of stuff like that. But I'm pretty sure there isn't any new items. I'm pretty sure I've covered everything. So, in that case, guys, uh, I'm going to have to end the video here. I want to thank you all for watching. just want to take the time to thank you all for all the support, all the likes, comments, and shares, and all the videos. I really, really do appreciate it. And if you're new to the channel and you want to see some more of this stuff, don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.